Hi, I'm Derek Moot, Professor of Plant Science at Lincoln University and we're at, at Ashley Dean, our dryland research farm, looking at a lucerne stand. And we've looked at this lucerne stand before, about a month ago, just as it had been sprayed. So if we come down and have a look at, at it now, it's a month on and we can see that we've actually used the paracot and atrazine to remove most of the weeds from this lucerne stand. So the bare ground is, is very clear here, um, not a lot of weed in between. There's the odd perennial weed that, that could be a problem, so a bit of dock here um, that we need to keep an eye on, and I've got a dandelion just here as well. These are the problem weeds that we may look to have to deal with um, in time, but in this three-year-old stand, there's only just the odd plant. I've had to find a patch to be able to show you them um, starting to invade the lucerne stand. This is a three-year-old stand. It's the 26th of August, so we're a month on from um, the last video that we had on this particular paddock, and the lucerne is just starting to move in the spring. So we've got stems that are up to 10 centimetres tall, and if we pull those stems off, we actually can't see the dead shoots that were there um, that had been sprayed and affected by the paraquat last time we were out here. So the lucerne is starting to elongate. Remember the growing points at the top. So that's the bit up here. And um, that is starting to elongate the internodes here and give us our production. Here at the farm, we've started lambing. And in this particular experiment, we've got lucerne and coxfoot and lucerne and brome and then the straight lucerne um, sward. So the, the, the lucerne grass mixes have been stocked with animals, but the lucerne itself is probably not quite ready to be stocked. But I would imagine this time next week, um, so in a week's time, maybe 10 days, we'll be starting to introduce ewes and lambs into this lucerne. So the lambs might be about two weeks old and they'll start their rotational grazing when the lucerne's gotten another five centimetres on it and it's about 15 to 20 centimetres tall. It'll depend on the air temperature over the next 10 days as to how this lucerne starts to move. But we're starting to see the elongation and starting to see the lucerne be ready for production.